So this is the uh, much anticipated AMD RX 480 review. Now this card is the 4 day model and we're going to take a look at it in this video and of course give you full performance numbers, temps and everything, but uh, let's just start off by saying I'm very impressed and uh, well, the hype is real. Check out techteamgb.co.uk for more awesome news, reviews and other stuff, including more information on this product and many more. Stick around for this awesome video. So because this card came straight from AMD, this is obviously a reference model and things may be slightly different depending on which add-in board partner card you get, but nonetheless, let's talk about the spec. So first of all, you've got 2,304 shaders, you've got 32 uh, compute units and 144 texture units. The memory situation is obviously 4 or 8 gigabytes running at 2,000 megahertz or 8 gigabytes gigahertz effective and a core clock of 1120 or uh, 1266 which is what it basically runs at that's the boost clock and 150 watt maximum power draw and also TDP as you can see there is only one six pin power connector there may be eight pin power connector options available on the add-in cards but obviously for the reference one the one that you'll see at launch that's what you have in terms of rear -O, you've got HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.3 slash 1.4 obviously that allows for HDR and uh, you know 4k 60 hertz 120 hertz which is awesome uh, in terms of the actual card itself it's obviously not actually that long you do have the blower fan at the back basically hanging off the end and actually does a really good job it sits at about 80 degrees but that's the stock temperature that's the temperature you actually actively set it to which you can turn down yourself if you want to take the top shroud off you can actually do that pretty easily with six screws and possibly even 3d print your own and it does look like there is DVI options available uh, possibly in add-in board partner cards which may be uh, nice to see Obviously with the one six pin power connector that does mean that you're only going to be drawing 150 watts and does uh, mean that you may be limited in your overclocking ability but nonetheless AMD's new Wattman tool is built into the driver and it's actually pretty awesome for just very very simply and easily overclocking the card by dragging a few sliders around. Now in terms of performance, this thing is actually pretty amazing. I tested this with a 6700K and it did a really good job of, uh, you know, beasting through games. I mean, you're looking at easily uh, 60 plus, I mean, 70 FPS in Dirt Rally on Ultra Settings, 85 FPS in Doom on Ultra Settings, which is just incredible, and more than 100 FPS on High Settings in GTA. In fact, um, Doom was Ultra, so that was, again, pretty incredible. And obviously very capable in VR games if that was something you're interested in. In. As I said, in terms of temperatures, the target temperature that was set uh, by default was 80 Celsius, um, which you can obviously turn down if you want to, but it was actually pretty quiet and did a really good job of uh, you know, making a great FPS happen, um, and obviously the MD Wattman tool is pretty cool. Also, this is stock footage, by the way. So despite what not often happens uh, with especially kind of new launch products that have a lot of hype, um, you would expect them to not be as kind of amazing as they're hyped to be, but this one really is not the case here. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, buy for money is incredible. You're looking at $199 or two, uh, 180 quid for the 4 gig model and £215 for the 8 gig model, which is absolutely fantastic considering the performance you get. I mean, as you've just seen in terms of actual FPS numbers, you're looking at 80 to 100 FPS in Doom on average, you're looking at 100 FPS plus in high settings on GTA, and by the way, Doom was ultra settings at 1080p, so that's fantastic as well. And if you're wanting to do 1440p gaming, you're easily looking at about 60 FPS average in pretty much all titles at ultra settings, so yeah, this thing is incredible. It's also VR ready, which is awesome. I mean, if you do want to pick up a Vive or a Rift, uh, you know, you don't need to spend another thousand pounds on the PC. So that's pretty awesome as well. Now, in terms of uh, the kind of pros and cons, there really isn't many cons to this. I mean, the Wattman tool is actually really awesome. Very easy to move the slider. Uh, to change the clock speeds and the voltages and the fan curves and you can change the target temperature as well so while the car did run at 80 degrees pretty much constantly that was only because it was overclocking itself to meet that 80 degree target you can move it up or down depending on if you want it to be warmer or cooler um, the actual card is actually pretty quiet considering that it's a reference card and obviously meaning uh, because it's a blower style design all the heat gets exhausted at the back as opposed to inside the case so the rest of the components stay nice and cool as well 
So, yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty awesome. I mean, obviously one PCI power connector. I believe there are plans to have eight pin PCI power connectors on some of the uh, add-in partner boards um, so that you can overclock them even more, which is awesome because obviously this card cannot draw more than 150 watts total. So that's really awesome. And yeah, it's just, it's an awesome card. I mean, in terms of scoring, it has to be a five five money. Performance has to be a five. Functionality, going to be a five as well. Uh, style, I actually quite like the blower style designs, so that's going to be a five. And Tech Team DB score has to be a five as well. It's also going to get the top tier award because this is just an absolutely fantastic card. And if you're planning on buying a new GPU that isn't a 1080 or 1070, buy this. That's my recommendation. There is also the RX 480 and RX 460 that are meant to be coming out in the relatively near future. So if you can't afford this one, apparently there are going to be some really awesome options just below this in terms of price. So yeah, check those out when they do come out as well. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Feel free to check out the Amazon affiliate link to pick up one of these cards. Apparently stock is everywhere, so that's pretty awesome. And also, uh, one really other, uh, awesome thing before you disappear, and um, we're gonna be doing a giveaway of one of these cards. It is gonna be a four gig model, but um, if you haven't already won one of the many cards that they're giving away on Reddit, then, um, Basically, yeah, we're going to be giving away. Um, there's going to be another video fully announcing the actual competition. That will probably be uh, in a couple weeks' time. But just to let you know that uh, we are going to be giving away one of these cards very, very shortly. Uh, and you should also stick around on Saturday because there's another awesome review coming out uh, as a kind of bonus video. With, uh, it features one of these cards and the folk system and something else. Um, maybe or maybe not. It's a giveaway. Um, yeah, you'll find out. So, uh, yeah, stick around for that.